we're here, I think, kind of, sort of, hopefully. Hopefully we're here. I don't know. Maybe someone will tell us if we're here. But, yeah, anyways, we're back. I had a car emergency, so that's where we were last week. We're back. TC's back with shorter hair. Yep. Been cut. Been cut. And uh, we're doing something new that we've never done before. We're going to do a game of snowboard. So what is a game of snowboard? So on the wheel, you the grand prize is you win two letters. But also there is you could win a letter, you could lose a letter, you can go bankrupt. But if you spell out the word snowboard, you will win a snowboard. That way we'll keep you guys occupied for the next few weeks as most people's attention turns away from snowboarding. But the first person to spell out snowboarding, and I'll be keeping track of all of this, we will do this. And basically, super chats and random questions. That's those are your options for winning this. So yeah, that's that's where we're at. Um, I don't know. All right. Does anyone have any questions on anything? Anyone? TC. <laughs> uh, if you don't have any letters and you lose letters, do you go negative in letters? No. Okay. You can't go negative. And you can only bankrupt up to yourself. You cannot cause bankruptcy on anyone else. So it's it's only on you. So you could be at Snowbore and go bankrupt and lose everything. But you spell a snowboard, you win, and you can only win once. After that, it it you I don't need the same people winning over and over again. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we'll start with the man that's always here first with the Super Chats letters. Spin for win. Hashtag don't trust cops. And join Angry Snowboarder VIP, which we're releasing a review a day over there in written format. So as it's the 11th, you now have 11 reviews that are up, and I'm scheduling all the way into August at this point. So I am. And uh, Ruff says, TC is a Rome fanboy like the rest of us now. I do like Rome bindings a lot. Like, they make good <laughs> shit, actually. There's a lot of moving parts, though, I will say that. Like, goddamn. They could just try to simplify it or something, but... I mean, well, they do. Solid. The lower the, the the cheaper the model, the less moving true. parts. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that's, but yeah, that's I mean, the way to look at it, they're good. They're comfy. Yeah. So. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you almost won a letter. This isn't blank. All right. And we got our moderator, Jack B Driving to Mammoth when the stream starts. Should I ride the Superposition or the Pea Seeker for spring conditions tomorrow versus POW on Saturday? Hashtag Cup of Liberty. Oh, mm. they're still in that whole democracy. Helldivers <laughs> is going hard. Uh, uh, I'd take the Peace Seeker tomorrow, and then for the POW, I'd ride the Superposition. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's fair. Depending on how much power you get. But yeah, I would drive the Peace Seeker in the slush for sure. Yeah. Go do some fart carves. Why are you rigging this? <laughs> you rigged this, TC. Nobody's winning a snowboard on my watch. Hey, Kirk Fow, Fox. Uh, is there a way to support you guys financially without having to go through YouTube? You can let the ads run on YouTube. We'll make money off that. There's super chats. Then you can also join Angry Snowboarder VIP. So Angry Snowboarder.VIP. That's our Patreon service. You can go to Angry Snowboarder Store.com and buy merchandise. So there's that as well. Uh, you can click the affiliate links in the descriptions. If you're buying anything, we do get a commission off that too. So yeah, there's definitely ways to support us. All right. 
All right. So we got WBG152. Hey, Angry, have you written the new Jones Mercury Pros? If so, how do they compare to the Rome Cleavers and which would be better out of defect? TC, take it away. They're not a thing yet. Like, they're not even coming out next year. So. They're not? I thought they were. I thought there would be a late release. Not yet. Hmm. According according to my sources, they're not ready yet. I think they just figured it out. So, I mean, I don't know yet. They look pretty sweet, and from what I felt on them, they look a little. They seem a little stiffer, but I haven't actually ridden them or anything. What, what are they like? Below an Apollo, but above a Mercury? Yeah. So it's got a different high back, and I believe a different ankle and toe strap. But I'm not 100% on that. I know it's a hundred, like a different high back on it, but not quite the Apollo. Okay. So it's not like carbon infused or anything like that. I don't believe. Huh. I think it's just a little bit more burly. So it should be similar to a cleaver, then. Should be. Yeah. Should be similar, but I don't know if you can get your hands on a pair. I guess go with the Mercury's, but. I mean, if you don't want to wait a whole year, probably get the cleavers. Yeah. I mean, both both of those will work great for a deep fake. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got S. Scott, 1986. Democracy is cool, perchance. We were killing robots the other day. Mm. Hell diving. Spray some skiers, people. So, yeah. All right. We got Matt Allen. Thank you so much for the GNU Gremlin recommendation. Looking at upgrading for next season. Any suggestion? Um, we got a Gremlin. So if you yeah. want something similar, a little more carving, maybe a ride Peace Seeker. Yeah. I don't know. If you want something a little softer, maybe a Rome service dog. Yeah, I mean, it's tough if you want to go like that direction or you want something that's just going to really haul ass, that sort of thing. You could do like an Alchemist or like a Megadeth, something like that. I guess that 203 would be kind of... BBC, big or black you could, cannon. Yep, you could do that too. That would just be more fun. I don't know if that would be more carvy, but maybe more surfy for sure. Bam. Yeah, I mean, you got options out there. I mean, if you're coming from a gremlin, it might be time to just try to get something that's like an all mountain free ride board, just a normal shape. Maybe yeah. like a Jones flagship, the new ride moderator, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. You got oh, options. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's give this man a spin. <laughs> Ouch, lose a turn. All right, we got our boy Orion with the weekly hashtag spray skiers recommendation. Ooh, next question gets a spin. Let's find one here. All right, we'll take this one from Shylinks. What board should I get into that's all mountain camber and on the stiffer side? Was a rough a shredding park boards and copper trying to go Mach 1 and losing edge? How mm -hmm. stiff you want to go is the question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, I mean, you know, you want camber and stiffer side, all mountain. Maybe you want a ride algorithm because then you can still go hit the park with it. Or a Jones Mountain Twin, maybe. Or if you're probably saying, go Mountain Twin. Win pro or something. I don't know if the mountain twin would be stiff enough. Yeah, well, that's why I'm thinking maybe maybe you go a little more free ridey on this, but something that can still handle the park. You go like flagshipy or aviator. Know, aviate. Ooh, aviator would be a really good one. That's that's a lot yeah. of keeper in that one too. Uh, let's see, do like a battalion Goliath plus if you wanted some three BT in there as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd say so, a yes basic on ink would be good. Standard, like, standard on ink. 
You can go standard on ink as well if you want it to be a little lighter. It's twin, it's but true. it's stiffer. And, yeah. And then you get edge tech on that too that's going to grip and stuff. So, Antidote. K2 Antidote would be one that you could do as well. I was not just pigeonholed it in the park. You could so, do a Borealis Artifact. To do that. that. Or you could even probably get away with like the Amplid Singular, the directional twin, not the true twin. So, yep. Right. Capital Mercury. Yeah. Mega Death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Straight speed. You, do that too. you can do that too. <laughs> Oh, you went bankrupt with nothing. That's rough. <clears throat> That's really lot rough. All right, we'll take this super chat from Luke Stranowski. What's the most ridiculous, jank, weird setup you've ever seen where someone was still absolutely ripping it on the slope? Hashtag daiquiris for democracy. Hashtag corn. Uh, I watched a guy in muck boots absolutely <laughs> destroying a jump line. Like the slip-on ones that go up to your knee? Oh, yeah. Fucking could tweak like no other. <laughs> like no other. And I asked him what was up, and he's like, dude, I forgot my boots, and this is all I had. He goes, kind of like it. <laughs> I've seen that. Um, I don't know. There's like a few people I've seen ride around copper. Well, Easy is probably the greatest example. That kid fucking obliterates boards. Dude, the other yeah. day I roll up on him and I'm like, did you break that new board that I told you not to buy? And he's like, yeah, you were right. He bought a blank snowboard. Fucking just, it, it's banana peeled right at the nose. Sidewalls crack. The edges are missing. And then he snapped his high backs off and his heel cups were so loose. They were pulling in and out every turn. Mm -hmm. And he's just absolutely just, and I told him, I was like, do you need bindings too? And he, he's like, yeah. And I was like, I've got a board for him and he won't fucking hit me up. And I'm like, dude, I've got a 155 ride burnout for you. You can have, if you need bindings, I'll give you bindings just so you can fucking write. Cause he snapped his bindings at love games this weekend. Um, I guess just sheared them right in half. Wild. So yeah, that kid, I, I'm, oh, I don't have it sitting right here. The shark bite, the K2 shark <laughs> bite that I have. That thing's janky and I've carved on it. Yeah. We, uh, I mean, I remember seeing at Steamboat a dude with a black snowboard of death, a pair of Stratas, and then uh, snowmobiling boots. And he was actually hauling an ass down the mountain. I was surprised because they were like size 13 snowboard or size 13 snowmobile boots. Those things are huge. On top of like, that, those things go up to almost right under your knee. Yeah, they're big, chunky ones. They had boas. So there's yeah. that silver lining, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that was pretty wild. And he was just hauling ass. I was like, okay, that's that's cool, dude. I mean, I've seen I've seen a lot of people that can't ride on janky setups. Yeah. Dude, this week's been like resort antiquing again. Dude, it's so in the park today setups. was was wild. I saw people like pretty much making it to the top of the jump and then like falling over. And then just like totally fucking up the whole lip and like army crawling over. It was, it, it was a wild day in the park. I was talking with Howie, one of the lift leads and this dude came Mach 10 into peace park and hit the top hip straight over the top. And I guess he had no clue what he was doing and he was doing the running man. He landed on the other jump no. after it. And I guess his skis just obliterated. Huh? I did see a lot of ski patrol in the park today. <laughs> did you see the, the dude they were scraping off the two foot jump in the kitty section? I did. I did. I saw that. I'm still I trying did. to figure out what the fuck he did to the point that it warranted nine ski patrollers. I don't know. Every time I went up the lift though, I was like, they're still there, huh? Like, Cause I thought the lift I stopped they... for 10 minutes and he was still there. <laughs> Yeah, I was on that lift when it stopped. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, but yeah, that was, I don't know what he did. Yeah. It was impressive. So much stupidity today. 
and a very low amount of snowboarders today. Toe side, never. All right, Jason Evangelista. March truly was an awesome month of snow. Dumped at Tahoe and Mammoth. Hashtag spray skiers. Always spray yeah. skiers. Yeah, we had a pretty good month too. Oh, cucked. Next person gets a letter. That's our boy MB. He's getting an S. He's getting closer. First one on the board. First one. It's on, it's on there. I put it on there. I wrote it down. Someone's winning a snowboard at some point in the future here. Yeah. All right. We got numb. Who would you consider the biggest doofus in Discord and why is it Gorbilius? Yeah. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know, we have a Discord server. It's not for the faint of heart. I feel really bad for the new people that come in and ask questions and then just get bombarded with inside jokes. <laughs> And I'm like, Jesus Christ, you guys are ruthless. You're 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 the you're the biggest doofus. Putting you in the box for a week. <laughs> Ooh, next question gets a spin. Let's find one here. All right. We'll take this one from Russ Jack. Either of you guys get on the new ride moderator yet? I wrote it. It's like if the algorithm is the equivalent to the deep fake, then the shadow ban is the equivalent to the moderator. Still rips. Like super solid board, super fun. Same shape as the deep fake. I had a lot of fun on that. Tail sink and pow. It's just like a good, just rad dad cruiser free ride board, you know? So, yeah. Let's give this man a spin. Ouch. Lose a turn. That's rough. All right. And we got a super chat here from MB. Down, up, left, down, up, right, down, up. Hellbomb armed. Clear the area. We've been very, we've been very big in Discord on Spread, uh, spreading space democracy. <laughs> Helldivers is actually just such a fun fucking game. Like, they I, took that yeah. from. They took Dude, that I'm from. Uh... A field day with that thing, because when in doubt, you can just kill your teammates. It's great. <laughs> well, they took that code from uh, Grand Theft Auto. Well, I mean, there's only so many combos you can do. <laughs> I mean. When you call in a stratagem, it's up, down, left, right, and that's it. You know, and like those are the yeah. four things you get. They just get longer with time. So. Join Angry Snowboarder VIP. And we got Tragon who's looking for a spin. Try again. And we got Jin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jin. Hit a bear. Car destroyed. Me and, and board survived. Well, that's good. That's good. I've known a lot of people that, that have hit bears, especially this year. Don't. Try again. All right. We got DLock79. Spin for snowboard. Check. Are the U.S. snowfields getting mega expensive? Australia is getting out of control. Uh, will they, let's see. I bought the Icon Pass now for $1,200, and they keep hitting me up to do all sorts of add-ons to it. And then my parking pass for copper was 800 bucks, So that's two grand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's getting, I mean... Three hundred dollars for a day ticket. I bet it's going to be seventeen hundred by the time October rolls around. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Mm -hmm. I could see that. It's fucking ridiculous. 
Yeah, it's getting. Like it's, 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 it blows it's, my mind that the parking pass they've they've cut down the amount of parking passes they sell, which makes me wonder when I was paying one hundred and fifty dollars for a parking pass like six years ago, how many were they fucking selling at that price? Yeah, I'll pay one hundred and fifty bucks if I can only park in the Beeler lot. I don't care. It's not that much further of a walk. I've been parking there all week. I don't give a shit. It's right. It's like a maybe fifty yards. I don't care. Worst comes to worst, I'll park right across from Woodward Express. Yeah. It's like, yeah, prices, but yeah, date a walk up day tickets like three hundred bucks at a bunch of resorts. But that's those are the big mega resorts. When you start to go to the small mom and pops, like, I mean, Ski Cooper for Thirsty Thursday, thirty dollar ticket. That was well worth thirty bucks. Yeah, but I think like Loveland's like one seventy for like are they that, are they that tickets. much now. That's what I heard on the chairlift. But uh, yeah, like one seventy there. They're not then, worth one seventy. No, and I know back home too. Like in Minnesota, it was like I think they were getting to be at 80, 90 bucks for a day ticket there. I'm like, ooh. Like when I was back in New York for Christmas, Holiday Valley was charging a hundred and ten dollars for five runs that were cut in half and were covered in mud. The week before, because it was non-peak time, they were doing lift tickets for 35 or 40 bucks. And I was like, I thought I was like, well, you don't have much open. Why are you trying to charge peak prices when no one wants to? It was, I mean, it was fucking 68 degrees Christmas Day. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. 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 So I don't know. It's definitely getting there. But what happens is you got to look at it like a rubber band. So like they'll pull it all the way out for how much they can charge. And when it stops, it's going to snap back and they'll figure out a way. Oh my God. Second bankruptcy of the day. <laughs> uh, all right. Take this one from fizzled. I need new goggles. How good are the, are the optical quality and anti-fogging on the spy legacy and zeal Cloudfall? Both are spherical and the experience with those. The Cloudfall is fucking huge. It like sticks out this much. Like it, it, it is a fucking huge goggle. With Spy Legacy, I'm not too sure about that, but the fact is, that I'm at Costco for like 30 bucks right now. <laughs> it is bigger, but I don't think it's as big as the Cloudfall is, no. like with how much it sticks out. But it is a bigger goggle. So, I mean, yeah. Spy, those are good goggles. Like both of them are. So, whichever one fits your face better, I would say fits like the bridge of your nose better. Just go with that yeah. one. Like, and I mean, you probably could get the legacies, like you said, for like 30 bucks. <laughs> like, hmm. all right, let's see. Yeah, I, the good thing is, there's going to be a shitload of goggle sales coming up. And yeah. every Saturday, I try to post links for the community tab here on YouTube for different sales stuff. So last week we did women's, uh, or no, we did beginners, men's and women's stuff. So maybe this week I'll do some goggle sales. I'll just yep. link a whole shitload of goggles from our affiliates and stuff. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I think Sun Logic on Main Street and Breck has already got stuff at 40 to 60% off. Like I was walking by the other day and saw that and I was like, I should probably go in, pick up some last year's dragons for dirt ass cheap. Yeah, so would be a bad call, at least just to have the extra lenses. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Then I've got like 50 fucking pairs of extra lenses. All right. Well, let's take this super chat from letters. Harder charger, the black snowboard to death or the ride commissioner? Commissioner. Commissioner. Mm -hmm. Commissioner. But like if the black snowboard to death is here with its flex and stiffness, the commissioner has left left the room. It's gone through the ceiling. It's up in the stratosphere. That board is a fucking beast. But don't worry. If you win a snowboard in a game of snowboard, I'll send you a commissioner. <laughs> We've got one to give away. We do. I think. I don't even know what we're giving away. I just found a stack of snowboards and was like, I think we need to get rid of these. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Hot soup coming through. 
All right, my knees are cheese. Looking good, boys. Knees are cheese. The word goes to Daya Okajima for Bail of the Year. Dude, the leap from heaven that won the torment Bail of the Year where he went down that wall ride and he missed the transition and just impacted. <laughs> Have you seen I that? I didn't see that. No. Oh, my God. It's fucking gnarly. I posted, I reposted on Instagram yesterday. Hmm. It is so fucking gnarly. Crested Butte was sick, but the granola was thick. They're very granola-y down in Crested Butte. Tahoe trip next week. Any Palisades tips? Uh, I've only ever been to Palisades in the summer, back when it was Squaw. Hashtag TC's mustache for president. Hashtag Avon rips harder than influencers. It's not hard when, you know, they don't leave the bunny hill. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, I really don't have anything about palisades i've I've never i've never been there when in the winter maybe we should go next year yeah i've never been on our icon pass yeah, might as well. yeah palisades us yeah oh no tc and i were talking this week about going to idaho yeah to bogus basin do a meetup up there like we do for thirsty thursday out here we're uh we're gonna see if we start planning now we can make it happen <laughs> yeah know, so. but yeah we would like to We'd like to get something out there. We'd like to get out more where we can meet more of you guys and just ride and stuff. Those events are always pretty chill. So, I mean, we had like 40 something people this year for the one at Ski Cooper. Yeah. So that was solid. It was a good turnout. Yeah, it was really good. Compared to the 16 we had the year before, 14, 16, something yeah. like that. Carlin. Oh my God, you were so close to getting two letters. Bankruptcy again. <laughs> and our boy Bernie Tomasetti up at Powder Tools and Steamboat wants everyone to get to work, including us. Yeah. We're working on it. Get real. All right. We got rough. Any big plans for the channel this coming season? Also, deleted my Instagram after the first post I saw today was influencer kooks on electric boards. <laughs> No, you're supposed to report that as terrorism, not delete your account. The more people that report it as terrorism, the more it blocks them. <laughs> uh, let's just say there's a lot in the works right now. Summer's going to look a little sporadic with content. Like we're going to be working on stuff. But September 1st, everything will fucking change. It will be... Super, super different. Um, if if my calculations are right with the amount of stuff we're filming right now, it's like somewhere between 550 and 650 videos will be finished by the end of August. <laughs> we're, we're going from one video a day to like three. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just be, be aware of that. There's, there's stuff coming. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Oh shit. You got two letters. <laughs> I like this. I like where we're going with this. The odds are now looking good for you. You're winning. You got SN. Don't go bankrupt. All right. We got Satori mapping. Where will snowboarding be in 10 years time? I hope by then we have teleporters so we don't have to wait for lift lines. I mean, I'm cool, cool if I become the human fly. Like, that's fine. I'll just merge with an animal, and that's my life. But I, I mean, won't have I to wait in lift lines, and there won't be any chairlifts. I'll be able to ride more. Hopefully we have snow. But uh, I don't know. I feel like it'll look at where it was 10 years ago, and I would say it's going to have that same style, but uh, a lot more spins. When it comes to professional riding, that sort of thing. How many more spins do you think they can actually do, though? I don't know. It depends. I don't how think big they can go above a quad cork. Depends how many. I mean, skiers are at like twenty six hundred and shit. But they we're always helicopter I know, but spins. We're, you got to remember, it's. Different. I know, and we're yeah. always like a couple of years behind them. So, someone. I mean, Marcus Cleveland and those dudes, like they're at, they're getting up there. They're in the 2000s now, and it's like, okay. Or I guess he 
the Japanese guys or the Chinese guys are in the 2000s. But anyway, like, I don't know. I don't think people thought it was going to be possible to do a 1080 for a long time there. And like the half pipe, it was like nobody thought it was possible to do a triple cork for the longest time. So I think we'll just have more influencers. You think? Oh, yeah. So many shitty influencers. No, the shitty brands will rise to the top. It'll be awful. I think it'll do like it Earth. did. It'll do like it did in the early two thousands, where there'll be an influx of money from the outside coming in, and then it'll be like a lull where it'll just go back to like core snowboarding. Once that's kind of where we're at is... actually right now. Is kind of more, there's a lot more core snowboarding, and then like the outside brands that are coming in. It's a lot of guys that used to work in core snowboarding that are the marketing guys for like beer companies and shit now. Yeah, and. So I was like, ah, it's kind of cool in there. I mean, 10 years, fuck, I'll be 50, almost 52. Hopefully I'm dead. <laughs> the big Wait, thing I would be, how, how, how good will uh, rehabilitation and surgery be for knee replacements? Because we're all going to be old and needing shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I think that's where it's going to go. Or it's going to go the complete opposite way where they keep going the route of taking away parks and everything like that and just try to make it more family oriented on the mountain instead of making big cool parks and everything like they're kind of doing at Breck and at Keystone. So just more family friendly. Disney will buy ski resorts. Oh, I love that on April fool's day. I saw that. Like that one was almost believable though. You're like, that one was good. I was like, fucking happen. I don't know, 10 years, maybe that ski resort in Dubai will be, or not Dubai, but uh, Saudi Arabia will be open. I saw, I don't know if this was a April Fool's thing, but I saw they're starting to build an indoor ski place in Miami. No, that's been in the works for years. Oh, okay, that is real. Okay. it was. I think it was originally supposed to be the people that did the one in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't oh. get it. I don't, we don't need, we don't need a ski resort in, uh, in Miami. No, let them. Maybe they'll actually learn how to get in a lift line properly and not be stupid. Think of it it's as just gonna, think of it as real mountain simulator for those people that come here on vacation. They should give them dry runs instead. They just built a new one of those in uh, in like the Denver area. I saw. I think they've got three locations of that thing. They might, yeah. I think it's in Westminster now or something like that. But they just yeah, put a, they just built a new it, one and I Snowbon or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was kind of a wild thing i thought because they were they're were like yeah this is for like training for snowboarding and then they were riding bikes on it and i was like what do you what <laughs> yeah i don't i don't get it i don't know all right leading cause right. any replacements we got a super chat from mike t i'm only here for the gambling hashtag asim <laughs> binding over the mercury a lot of people no. loving those roman uh, battalion no no Join Angry Snowboarder VIP. All right. All right. We got Nick Larson. Did the 24 Megadeth have a lot of issues? I wouldn't say it was a lot of issues. To make it ultra lightweight, you've got to shave stuff off. So they put a thinner base and a thinner edge on it. People don't understand when I say something. I was like, this board fucking rips, but it's a Sunday Carver Cruiser. They're like, I'm going to ride this for everything. And then they go fucking hit rocks. And they're like, my board's obliterated. Like, I've seen people doing so much stupid shit with that board. You got to treat that one like a Ferrari F40 where you bring it out on specific occasions. It is your Sunday coffee and cars board that you bring out. It is not your everyday. Like, no, it has its specific purpose. That's why it's so expensive. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, fuck me. I think I oversold this to people. So, yeah. And board fucking rips. But, like. I saw people trying to ride that in the preseason at Copper when the rocks were still poking out of the two runs open. I'm like, no, no. Yeah. You don't bring that thing out till there's at least a 30 plus inch base. Yeah. yeah so, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say there's a lot of, a lot of problems with them or anything like that. I've seen a couple that had a thin base, but it really wasn't anything bad. So, like, oh. 
and they were going to warranty that anyway at the end of the season. So like, whatever. But I mean, they only made a couple hundred of those. So I love the dude that was trying to tell me it's the most warrantied snowboard in the history of Capita, and I'm sitting here going. Does no one remember the year the Stairmaster top sheet would literally coil right off when it touched snow? Because they forgot to put epoxy in it at the factory. And that was before Capita owned their factory. That was Milan that did that. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Take this super chat from Martin Hunt. Did you guys get a chance to try the new Jones boards? No, we're picking them up next week. I've got seven days on the new Tweaker Pro now, and I'm stoked on it. Curious to hear your thoughts. I'm curious have, to ride that one. Yeah. So. Yep. But, but uh, uh, no, the only ones that we've been on, uh, TC was on the, you did the Hovercraft, Aviator, and Mercury Bindings, and I did Stormwolf. Yep. Yeah. So that's all we've ridden from them so far. Yeah, but we have that whole new pro series we have to ride. Yep. Uh, a couple pairs of bindings. The new storm, new storm chaser, if we can get it repaired, because our rep decided to ride over a bunch of rocks while Jeremy Jones was in town. No, that's it's actually not that bad. I was oh, it's not? To, talking oh. to him today, and it's actually not Oh, I'll bad. fucking ride it. So, Tell him to give it to me. So, I'll fill the gouges myself. Yeah, so we can, we'll still be able to do that. Um, I got p right here. Otherwise, I'm trying to think what the other one is. Because there's something else I thought, too. Mine Maybe expanders. Uh, you get to ride those, I think. There's only one. Oh, that's right. Because they got rid of the Pro, didn't they? Or the Ultra. So it's just one. Yep. Um, oh, Mountain Twins. That's it. Because those... Oh, yeah. Like, well, yeah. yeah, the Pro Series and the regular Pro Series Mountain Twins. But it's, yeah. it's not like a crazy amount of stuff, but there's still i think all said and done with what we've got left i think between the two of us it's like less than 70 pieces which is like less than 30 something days of riding which i'm like yeah. okay middle of the next month we should be done if not sooner so yeah yeah so but yeah we'll be we'll be getting those you're either getting them when you get back on saturday or uh picking them up on tuesday right mm -hmm. yeah Ouch, lose a turn. And from my knees are cheese, collecting letters. You're collecting him? You're collecting letters from our boy from Idaho? <laughs> Crazy. Ooh, try again. All right. Oh, 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 nope. oh. Next question gets a spin and bounced out. We're doing this. All right. We got rabies uh, 25 thoughts on where to find channel compatible discs, uh, four inch DIA for old ride rodeo binds, probably eBay, any, any weird looking shop at an old mountain, like not a mega resort. I'm talking like you're at a mom and pop resort and it looks like they drill out bindings to replace stuff. They probably have a box of parts somewhere. Salty peaks. Because I know they still have the contrabands, actually. Um, otherwise, Ride might have them laying around, honestly. They might have those discs just kind of kicking might, around. See, so I would probably get in touch with them and see if they have anything. It's like, hey, you got any discs laying around? Otherwise, Powder Tools used to. They just threw them away because it's time to get new bindings, dude. Yeah, Those rodeos have been out of commission for like four or five years now. He was going to say the rodeo is about five years old now at this point. And that's if he got them the last year they last made Last year, yeah. So, so who knows? Well, dude, I had a guy are. asking me the other day where he could find parts for a ride Tomcat. And I was like, get rid of them. That <laughs> binding, I sold that binding before I was 21 years old. Get rid of them. Few of those come into the shop or like back at powder tools when I was there, and it was it was one of those heart to hearts you have to have. Be like, hey man, it's good that you kept it in shape, but uh, it's time. It's time to you put it down. Like, yeah, you know. You but that's what I would say. Worth. You got your money's worth. Time to step it up. Uh, 
check out those affiliate links because I know ride bindings are on sale right now. Oh, yeah. dude, Christie's was blowing them out at 60% off for like the C6s up to the te- A10s. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're, uh, they were doing that with like boards too. Like they're clearing it out. They need, they need the space for the summer. Mm hmm. All right, we got numb. I hope this isn't too political, but Vungus, Bungus, Chicken, Gungus, Dungus, or Gungus. <laughs> the That's chicken a lot Gungus of on me. everything. <laughs> the Chicken Gungus got me. <laughs> I'm all I about thought he was going to go into like a nursery rhyme with it. <laughs> Which one are you picking? You got one in five. I'm going chicken. Hell yeah. Get some Chicken Gungus. Eat it. Blow out my Bungus later. <laughs> Ollie, some slow signs. Uh, all right. So we got this one from P. Kerr. I have a Jones Ultra flagship 164. My friend has a K2 Alchemist, shorter and wider. Got me thinking. What's the dampest free ride board nowadays? Does length increase dampness? Many think No, width. Width does. Like, you go longer, and if it's just proportional in there, you're just going to end up with more flap in there. But if you're just shrinking down and going wider it's going to add more stability to it because it's pushing it out for there it's not like this little beam it's like this you know it's it's there <clears throat> um a lot has probably the dampest too, that i've ridden is the nitro uh pantera like yeah it also just doesn't flex it's just <laughs> it's just yeah, there you know so um otherwise that deep fake was really damp as well deep fakes damp to a point but there, there's you can get more damp boards out of there like amplet's got some stuff with their anti-phase technology in there and yeah. that works uh um, i would say anything with like a thick urethane sidewall is going to be really damp um, but yeah, like that amplet like you were talking about or as long as that urethane sidewall doesn't have carbon in it because if you look yeah. at like the algorithm, because it's got the carbon slim walls in there, it puts more power, like right where they end is right where the impact plates are, and that drives more power into it. Too. Well, that also has the triax glass too, that yeah. I could definitely tell that definitely like anything with a good glass in it is going to operate a little bit more. So we losing him. TC, we're losing you. You see? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, you get the Avron show for a minute. You're back. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Fixed you. All right. Yeah, you you locked up for a minute. It happens. Hey, I just went black on mine, and I was like, uh oh. It's those rolling blackouts of Summit County. <laughs> Because that evidently that was happening at Copper. They're like, yeah, the chairlift is giving these faults that it's not getting electricity. I'm stuck on the chairlift and I can see the other chairlift over on Flyer going by. And I'm like, the fuck is this? <laughs> One part of the mountain is not getting power. Pay your bills, Copper. <laughs> All right. We got Tomato Joe. Always say no to Butter Dojo. Help cure influenza. Don't be a kook. Yeah. Don't follow influencers. Follow real snowboarders. <laughs> Well, if you'd had a letter, you would have lost a letter, but you didn't. So you're good. All right. We've got Nick C. Got the 24. Yes, great. On an end of the season fire sale. Union Strat, a good pairing for it. Keep the stoke alive. Fuck yeah. Slap them on and That's go ride, right, dude. I've seen a yeah. lot of those actually paired together just because that board is wide enough for that, that base yeah. tray because that thing's so big. Fucking like this. That but yeah, it's fine. It'll be stiff enough for you. It'll be fun. Uh, all right. Well, we got this one from Centauri2410. Avery, TC, any difference between the limited ride Sevy deep fake and the regular? It looks like just a different top sheet and base graphic. No, I think it is just graphics on that one. Yep. So, all right. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. I actually haven't seen that yet. It's on their website. Yeah. All right, we got Ted G. Hey, guys, what things should I be looking for in a board for track dot tree run? Something with torsional flex. That's mm -hmm. the big one. And if you're going to go camber, you want directional camber, so it's got a little more rocker in the nose because that way the rocker will actually – pop up and you can keep it compressed and then you can pump everything that you need to do with it. So that, that would be something like that. Uh, and then normally what I think is something a little shorter and wider too, a shorter effective edge on it where you can really swing it around and not almost be like pushed into trees, like on the 203 <laughs> cannon, <laughs> something not like that. I would say something a little shorter. It's just easier to wiggle around. But yeah, like I... you said, something I would say back foot, cam like back foot camber dominant would be yeah good. yeah something with a little rocker in the nose stuff like mm -hmm. that um it was funny funny you bring up the quiver cannon in the trees when i picked up those boards from matty o yesterday that not 195 doughboy shredders in there and he's mm -hmm. like you're gonna go ride that today and i was like no that's for tc to ride and i'm gonna make him ride trees and and um mm -hmm. uh what's his name that helps him from over in avon was there and he's just like yeah he's like i like this He's like, hell yeah. And I was like, yeah, I made TC take the BBC and the two, the 203 BBC in the trees. And they're like, how'd that go? And I was like, heard a lot of swearing behind me. <laughs> He's like, I like the way you think. And I was like, yeah, you got to leave your comfort zone sometimes, you know? Yeah, just, well, that one, it wasn't even like you look where you're going to turn next, not where you're turning now because that nose is so fucking long. You have to like plan ahead. And it's like, okay, like shit. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to jump for a minute because I really want to take this super chat from Chad Otterstrom because this is, this is very important. This is, this is deep, deep knowledge from Chad Otterstrom. Why is Rocky mountain underground above ground? Because the building doesn't have a basement in it. And to build that basement, they? they have to get extra permits for the excavation of it because there's piping and there may be a buried mine under there. Plus there's probably like, it's an Indian burial ground or something. The poltergeist would get released. It's crazy. They're pretty much just a bar anyway. But it's upstairs. It's ground level and it's upstairs. Those are your two That's options true. with it. That's true. Never been in there. You know, remember this. And if you're not following Chad Otterstrom on Instagram, you need to, you fucking heathens. Yeah. One, great photography. Two, great POV footage. Three, cheeseburgers. 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 And, and sometimes you get a little pick of the dog. So Yeah, you get to see his wieners. Yeah. yeah, absolute insane runs he posts on there, and it's like, damn, dude. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't you can't go wrong with uh, with following Shadow, but this isn't blank. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, from BZMs. Here's here for here's for the anti gentrification AK fund. That's right. Get that AK forty seven. Stick it out the window. And just fire off a couple of rounds. Keep your property values down. No one wants to stay in an Airbnb where your neighbor's shooting guns off. Unless they like to party. Unless they like to party. <laughs> Lose a turn. All right. We'll take this one from Jeff Sprague. Does anyone else think Natty Select needs a marketing overhaul? Commentators are almost all ass. Website is a clusterfuck. Relentless sponsorship partner mentions and full runs got cut to highlights. Oh, hey, I think they kind of butchered it this year. I didn't I didn't watch the finals. I'm, I still haven't yet. I need to. I, I just, saw Travis Rowan, it looked like. He had a trophy in his Instagram post. So I'm like, okay. But, uh, yeah, no. I like it when they do it live. Keeps them honest. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I hate how they do that. Like, the first one is always live. And then after that, they just kind of gets cut down and cut down and cut down until it's like, nothing in alaska pretty much and they're like all right here's here's just the hits that they did they didn't even show the whole face yeah. like the budget gets pretty thin by then i think <laughs> yeah 
All right. We got Chris Yee. Picked up a used Academy Masters. Shout out to Chad Otterstrom. That board fucking rips. Uh, the previous guy filed the contact points. And after a tune, the contact points are still rounded. Is it worth trying to detune the edges again or too much material already gone? You're going to need to hand file it. Well, once you, if it's just the contact points, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Like, but you won't be able to get that back once you round out the contact points. Like, you'll just take it down to nothing pretty much. It depends on who's working on it. Like, if you talk to the right guy, they can, it's never going to be factory. That's for sure. No. But they might be able to give you a little more edge bite. Why the fuck would you round the contact points on that? Like, that guy sounds like a fucking retard. I mean, there's a contact boards on every board I've sold. Yeah. Like, every board I sold would get a little bit of a detune. It's only like three strokes, but I'm I mean, a big believer in that. I sharpened the edges on the shadow band for the first time in two seasons. <laughs> yeah. That thing had a reverse curl. When I took it into gravity, Tiffany picked it up and she's like, what the fuck is that? I was like, reverse curl. And she's like, how how do you ride this? And I was like, straight. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Just go straight. Yeah. All right. We got Trailer Park Prodigy tuned in from work, hoping I can catch a decent amount of the stream. Well, we appreciate you tuning in. <laughs> Cubicle jockey life. Get to work now. Gonna bounce? Nope. Toe side, never. Uh, okay, we'll take this one from four by four therapy. Hey guys, long time no see. If you guys wrote and or reviewed the new K2 Almanac, looking at this for our coming up uh, our upcoming season is my daily. Not a park person, love your work. I have, I wrote it. I mean, it's Kind of just like this medium volume shift, like do everything board. We will have a review of it up early on Angry Snowboarder VIP. Oh, hard hitting question for you, TC from Rough. Did TC like the skate banana? For a beginner board, sure. Like if you've never snowboarded before, go for it. But uh, if you know what you're doing, no. I mean, it was fine. I don't think I absolutely hated it, but uh, yeah, it was fun to butter on and stuff. Don't expect it to ollie for shit, but you know, I didn't give it as bad of a review as Avern did. I'll say that. I didn't oh, think it was a bad review, review at all. Lives on is just like there's a whole bunch of people that are like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and I'm like, I was like, no, I'm I'm pretty sure I do. And then like a couple years yeah. later, they'll update their comment and they'll be like. After writing other stuff, I realized you're right. This thing's soggy as shit. And I was like, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, I mean, but if you have never snowboarded before, like, oh, you yeah, want great. To try it, go board. for it. Like, if you're going to ride three be... to five days a year for the rest of your life, fuck yeah, go have fun. You're, yeah. Eventually, you'll learn how to skid a turn. Yeah. But I don't know. The way I would see it is like, get rid of your Burton, like, LTR program out of any, any, like, rental shop and just bring those in. Because they're Mervin, they're pretty durable, they'll last a while, and people won't come back all pissed off, and it'll actually glide like those Burtons don't. Like, so you can get a, a feel for what snowboarding kind of feels like, I guess, with training wheels. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's about what I think of it. Super chat from my knees or cheese. Missed the stream last week. So did we. <laughs> yeah. She's cut looking good. We weren't here. Neither were you. Yeah. You didn't miss anything. Um, I think middle to end of next month we're going to be gone a couple weeks and then we'll be back in june yeah. oh bankrupt well you didn't have anything so you're good right now <laughs> yeah. All right. okay we got noodles impulse bought a 151 ride super big on a killer deal i'm going to have too much overlap with my current 157 passport with union fc atlas that i only free ride on five seven hundred and seventy five pounds no because it's a different no. board in itself like, it's a little more nimble. It's actually, in my opinion, it's more stable than the Passport at speeds on your foot. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, All no, right. you're good. 
We'll take this one from Grant Copel. Uh, what will be a good playful board for ground tricks and groomers that I can pair with my K2 passport? Battalion Wally. <laughs> That's just my go-to. Battalion Wally. I mean, it's, it is soft. It's soft. It's fucking super, super soft. Uh, you could do like a good new finest. Uh, mm -hmm. K2 geometric. Uh, I was possibly even thinking the World Peace by K2. Geometric and World Peace are interchangeable. They're supposedly Fair. different, but I rode the same size back to and I couldn't fucking tell the goddamn difference. <laughs> so, does the geometric have a center base on it? It might be extruded. Okay, that well, might be, that the would be about your difference. Uh, uh, let me think. A disaster by battalion would work. Yeah, well. that's another good one right there. Rome gangplank would be mm -hmm. another one I'd look at. It's flat to rocker, so that'd be really easy to play with. Uh, you could do a DOA as well, just because the ah, fuck on that it. Pathfinder reverse, <laughs> or Pathfinder reverse, or yeah. an ultra. Or even I was gonna say an ultra fear as well. Yeah, that would yeah. be another one. Um, ah, what else is out there? Trying to think, think about this. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm already into like next year's shit, so I'm just like, I, I know, know. And I almost said one, and I was like, no, nah, don't say that. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what else I have in my. What about a ride kink? Kink's stiffer than you think. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, like they market it as this jib board, but after riding it, and I'm like. It's stiffer than a world piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's got, well, it's got slim wall. So it's got better edge oh, yeah. too. So, okay. Give this man a spin. Oof. Join Angry Snowboarder VIP. All right. And for anyone wondering, we got a PSA for Mr. Force 10. Mount Hood is still good. So there we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, God. Satoris Epistolopolopolis. Mr. Greek over here. GNU Rider's Choice, Lib Short Wide, Niche Maelstrom, Solomon Huckknife Pro 2023, GNU Bank Country, Slash Vertical 2021, the stiffer model. How would you trim the quiver down to three boards? Keep the slash vertical, ditch the maelstrom, keep the huck knife pro, and then it's um, I would probably take your choice on those last three lib techs or Mervins that you got there. Because the bank country is gonna overlap with that slash vertical. So maybe that would go probably just go to the short wide, honestly. I don't know. What would you do? I was thinking short wide huck knife bank country is what I would take. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. We got this super chat from BZMs during the park jam on Sunday, sent a true first time method and somehow nailed it. Hashtag TC was right. Hashtag the Sasquatch just landed. Hashtag can't tweak for shit. You're a big dude trying to pull that yeah. method around. I'm surprised you didn't pull your back. Yeah. you. Yeah. It, but when you do pull your back, that's when you know you tweaked it. And that's when it's a good one. When you are out of breath on the landing, you're like, well, I think I just punctured a lung. Like, so for anyone that doesn't know, we've actually met BZMs. His nickname is Arthur Strongo. <laughs> Fucking goddamn oak tree over here. Redwood. <laughs> Brick shit house. You know that scene in Happy Gilmore <laughs> where he's like, you count on you. No, shooter. Gilmore hit a hole in one of this. <laughs> that's what you're looking at. It got, yeah. <laughs> that's what you see. Just this guy that just looks like he could just fold you in half. Without the mop top, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, without the mop top or the nail sticking out of his head. <laughs> he was wearing a helmet, so I don't know if the nail wasn't there. I can't confirm that. This isn't blank. All right. We got a super chat from Charles. Hardest resort run. SNS, McConkey, something else. Hardest run? Four o'clock on the busiest day of the year at Breckenridge when everyone's trying to get down it. I don't care yep. what anyone says. You are more likely to die on that than anything else. 
Yeah, I was also thinking BC Skiway on a flat light day. Oh my god, uh, BC during is the worst. During like uh, Christmas or something when it's still not like good snow, so it's like pretty icy, flat light, and then like all of a sudden it's just people cutting in front of you trying to go even slower than you thought was possible. So there's that one. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Just think of the busiest run. Hard. Or actually, it could I be. I think actually uh, doing stuff off Cowboy at Stevens Pass if the conditions are weird. Because I fell through a crevasse up there. <laughs> I was going to say uh, any any like black ribbon of death on opening weekend near Denver. Yeah. Yeah. Winter Park. <laughs> Winter Park. The place is just fucking cursed. Doesn't matter what run you're on, you're just probably going to die. Swear to God, that resort is built on Indian burial ground or some shit with the amount of people that get sacrificed over there. Don't say that. I'm going on Saturday. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. Keep Just remember to check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's true. It's supposed to be like 55 that day. TC rigged this. All right. Mm -hmm. We got Talon Walker. Man, you guys are really big on the moderator, ride moderator stuff. Have you guys rode the new ride moderator? I'm coming from an algorithm and want to go to a deep fake. Go to the deep fake. If you're coming from an algorithm, go to the deep fake. It makes the most logical sense. Would you take the moderator deep fake? I ride a shadow band. I'd ride a moderator. That's who I am as a person. Love the deep fake when I wrote it. But now there's the moderator and I'm like, Ooh, hey, how you doing? I'm a little older. I don't need as much. That's right. A little taper. Ah, you know, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that board like, you know, you're a single mom, but your kids are out of the house. What's up? You know, you got some mileage on you, you know, not the best looking thing out there. You're not like the most active, but you're fun. We could have some fun. Let's go have some fun. That's that's the way I look at it. Deep fake. I'm more like, oh, hey, you're 25 and right out of college and ready to do stupid shit and ruin your life. I'm the guy for you. Uh Okay. We got Stu Hain. Battalion Adams are on sale. I love the Astro full wrap. How much different are the Adams response wise? So they're an ASIM wrap with a stiffer high back on it. Realistically, they need to bring back the Adam full wrap and ditch the, the uh, ASIM wrap, in our opinion. And even our mm -hmm. local rep said that. It doesn't make sense for such a stiff binding. Why is it ASIM wrap? Honestly, if you're on a full wrap Astro, just buy the goddamn high backs off the battalion website and slap them on and you're good to go. Like yeah. that's, that's really what you're going to do. Yeah. And we got a super chat from Trey gone who wants everyone to know to go buy the Rome freaker. Cause it's on sale and it's his favorite board. <laughs> Toe side, never. Nope. And uh, Arthur Longo is uh, popping in to let everyone know to buy a Rome Freaker and Battalion Astros. Really <laughs> weird, Arthur. We would have figured that you would have been saying buy the Aeronaut and maybe some yeah. Union Forces or Atlases, but you know, hey. Oh, contract man. must uh, must have ran out. <laughs> yeah. And we got our boy Gorbathy Gorbchukin. Uh, Gorbachev, Helldivers 2 is Dance Dance Revolution for men. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that's 100%. That is exactly what that game is. Oh, my God. I I was spreading democracy the other day, and my squad got taken out. And there was all these bile titans. And I was like, the only thing I can do is run out of the zone and, you know, be labeled a traitor. So they try to shoot me. So it kills everything. My squad didn't like it, and they democratically voted to kick me out. <laughs> Bullshit. I was trying to save them. If you're a fan of Starship Troopers, this is the greatest fucking game ever. I will play this game all goddamn summer. I am loving life with it. I haven't had this much fun in a game in forever. Oh, Gorb, you... Wait, wait. Oh, bounced out. This isn't blank. You almost won a letter. <laughs> I 
Oh, Arthur Lungo. I'm not actually Arthur Lungo. I'm just an April Fool's troll. Sorry to everyone I got with She Part 4 laughing. Did you see that? Arthur Lungo no. put up She Part 4, and when you clicked it, you got Rick rolled. That's awesome. I did not see that. <laughs> that is, that's good. Uh. Okay. We got the Von, the Von Bosch. Avern and T, TC, I'm old and out of touch. You're on the pulse. What's up with the new forum? Jeremy Jones is riding Nitro boards again and unfollowed forum on all social. Is it a bust already? Um, I kind of called this years ago, and I kind of think this is what's happening. That uh, the guy that the trademark troll that got it, because I had to deal with him one time, he came across as a kook ass motherfucker. He got a dead tr trademark. He got the. And he was trying to relaunch Special Blend, and then he tried to relaunch for him, but Burton came back in the first round. And then the second round, he got it. And I kind of said, I was like, I think he's going to use these guys to push it, and then he's going to try to sell it on Amazon or whatever. It's not going to make money. That dude has taken like 500 and something trademarks. Like, he owns trademarks for soup and shit that he found. Like, you know, like the guys, like... No, he's trying to run for like the state senate of California. He's he's fucking weird, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Trust Jeremy Jones. If he if he left, something's up. Like that's where I'm at. I'm like, you know, I mean, the boards are capita boards, and I guess next year they're not being made there. Someone told me. I don't know if that's true. I can't confirm that. But they were more expensive, lower quality capita. Like it was like an indoor survive or no, it was an outer space living with a DOA guts. It was like three boards merged into one that were still all three of them. Even the highest end one was cheaper than what forum was charging. Yeah. I was like, just go buy a capital. I mean, we're hitting a weird point where all these people keep bringing back dead brands. And I'm just like, stop. Kemper went bankrupt. You got whatever Joyride is doing, right? Okay. That's out there in there. I guess Todd's doing something with Moro. And I'm like, we... Is that what that is? I saw the stickers on Well, I think I what he's, he's trying to do nostalgic. is there'll be Capita board, or there'll be K2 boards re-released with his old graphics on them, which I think oh, that's, that's cool. okay. A re-release like that, built at a real factory, if you're not trying to actively sell them and push them, and you're like, this is a re-release for collectors or for me or for something, it, it, it could work, but like, I don't know, man. Like, I keep seeing people being like, we're bringing this brand back, and I'm like, why? Like Atlantis, M3, like just fucking let them die, man. They lived their life. Like, God, if Angry Snowboarder went out of business, I wouldn't be like, we need to bring it back. I'd be like, fuck it. I have to go get a real job. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll take this one from Gene. Jean Akko. It's either Gene or Jean. Uh, I don't see many reviews on the Battalion Thunderstorm 2024. What are your thoughts on struggling to compare it to the Jones Frontier, Gnu Riders Choice, Shadow Band for all mountain board? Uh, it's closer in flex to the Shadow Band out of those. Riders Choice, no. The camera profile is too wonky. Frontier, kind of, but it's it's closest to the Shadow Band in there. There's no difference from the 2023 to the 2024. Like all they did was the graphics. You're fine. So I. Uh, all right, got this one from Simon. Yo, Avery, I just wanted to say thank you for the 162 Jones Mind Expander recommendation. Took it out for 14 days, including five amazing pow days at Kirkwood. Some of my best days on the snow I've ever had. It's a solid board. It is a solid board. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Migs, I'm about to the same size as you, Avery. Should I get the resort twin in a 56 or 58? I know you reviewed the 56, but the max recommended weight is only 175. More freestyle, and you want it to be like a twin that's playful and all around, go with the 56. If you're doing a little more resort riding, go to the 58. Uh, okay. Man, we got our boy Beziums with the super chat. How does the uh, Nitro Dinghy compare to the Ride Super Pig? They're in the same category. Dinghy is a little more stable underfoot. It carves better than the Super Pig, actually, in my opinion. It just feels more stable on it. I also think the Pow Float and the Dinghy is a little bit better. That's my takeaway on it. So, yeah. I'm ready. Thank you. Oh. Uh, oh. You 
got it. You got it. We got another letter on the board. Ruff is still winning, though. You got an S. We're getting there. Someone's winning a snowboard at some point in the future here. Okay. We got Rob Gams. Question. Riding a 2016-17 cap at Outer Space Living, but difference between the latest model and that one, what would be the next model that is closest to the Outer Space Living and the Capital lineup? Uh, so since then, they've changed the flex, the shape, the camber profile on it. The closest thing to that now, I think, is the Pathfinder? I think? I don't know if that's right. I mean, you're talking about a board that's seven, eight years old. No, I what? No, it wouldn't be the Pathfinder. It'd be like a shit. I don't think the Outer Space Living is that Pathfinder soft. Not now. Back then, though, it was. Because it's either it's either it's either Pathfinder. Well, that's next question. Or is it more like the indoor? That's the question. It's like it's one of those. Probably the indoor. I think. Well, yeah, it depends. I don't remember if I rode the seventeen eighteen or the sixteen seventeen. I think it was seventeen eighteen. All right, we got Jason Zabo. East Coast winter is ending three weeks after it started. Fuck my coast. Store my cambered boards in a bag vertical between dolls or under the bed. I'd probably Doesn't matter. flat under the bed. Yeah, as long as unless you're trying to show them off, because like if you're trying to show them off like that, fuck yeah, go do it, dude. It doesn't matter as long as it's a dry temperature control. Yeah, as long as it's not not like sun. Sitting in the sun, sitting in like a wet garage. If it gets super humid, that'll rust the shit out of your edges. So just keep them. Try to keep them in a room under the bed's fine. It's not going to decamber if that's what you're worried about. Unless unless your bed is sitting on top of the boards, flattening them out, and you're fucking fat chicks all summer. Yeah, that'll happen. Fat chicks need loving, too. They just got to pay. <laughs> but they'll keep you warm on a cold winter's night. He only had three weeks of winter, so. So only three weeks of the year. <laughs> Side never. All right, we got MB. Got to keep going now that I'm on the board. Oh, now. Nice. <laughs> we are so far out in the weeds. Yeah, we're we're like 50 minutes in the past. This isn't blank. All right, all right. All right, let's see. We'll take this one from Rich Fester. Don't have the stickers I won four weeks ago. Hashtag what the fuck. Yeah, life got in the way. They're probably in the mail or going to get to you in the next week or two. I don't know. Everyone knows that when we say it's in the mail, that could be eight months from now. Just be happy if you get them in the same, like, two weeks time span. Yeah. Be patient. Patience is a virtue. I can't remember if I sent everything. I, I haven't sent those over to you. I don't think so because no. we were dealing with some stuff. So, no. all right. Join Angry Snowboarder VIP. All right. Luke Shinowski, biggest change between the Arbor Annex and the GPS. Annex is way stiffer than the GPS. Way stiffer. Horribly, horribly stiffer. GPS has more torsional flex to it. And it actually, um, it's soft. It's, it's with that torsional flex and it being softer, you can carve it a lot different. So, but we did review a lot of Arbor stuff this year. Yep. Next question gets a spin. Let's find one here. Take this one from IK. What will be your choice for spring snowboarding? Party board, park board, or something else? At the rate we're going, I'm just going to be riding powder boards. Fuck. Yeah. Otherwise, park board is normally what I do on yeah, park spring board. days. Mm -hmm. 
cardboard for sure. Spray some skiers, people. Spray some skiers. All right. We'll take this super chat from S. Scott 1986. Knee replacement buddies. I need a knee replacement at some point in my life. Maybe two. Ah. All right. Got another letter on the board. He's on the board. He's on the board. You got an S. Well, we got four people on there. Your odds are one in four at this point. No. <clears throat> All right. Marcus S2. Sun outgrew his Rome Warden physically, not skill-wise. Think Freaker would be too stiff. Looking for something similar to Warden with a faster base. Go up to the Stolly Cruiser instead. Uh, Freaker will work. That If you're worried about skill level, I'd say go to the Stolly Cruiser instead. I, I, that would be like the middle jump in there, I think, for you. Oh, that isn't blank. All right. All right. All right. And we've got this uh, message from Chad Otterstrom. I don't think powder should be smashed. That's sort of how they do it on peak eight. Powder should be lightly feathered. Well, do you want us to just go side slip it for you and pack it down? That, that's the Aspen and him talking right now. Goddamn <laughs> butt pencils changing Chad. Love that place. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just going to move there. We yeah. become the beautiful people. We're talking about it. <laughs> all right. Peter W.A., Peter Washington. Hello, guys. Are you going to test the Nitro Team Pro and the Beast 2025? TC rode the Beast, didn't get a mm. Team Pro. Evidently, Nitro's sending more boards, though. I, I asked for bindings mm. and boots, and they're sending boards, so we'll see where this goes. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, the Beast is fun. Board rips. Like, be on top of your shit when you're riding that thing, for sure. But super fun. Old school feel to it, though. All right, we got MB with the super chat. PSA, get a spring break resort twin. Oh, that's a fun board. That board fucks. I got one behind me. Yeah, you still got to ride it. Yeah. You should ride that tomorrow. I was thinking about it. I can get rid of Capita tomorrow then if I ride both those. Sweet. And it's supposed to be 54, so it might be the day. Yeah. Or I'm going to do it up at Steamboat. All right, well, click the links. <laughs> click the links. And Chad Otterstrom, wide boards give me a lot of chatter when dropping the steeps of peak six. Drink sludge every time you guys say damp. Damp, 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 damp. Keep drinking that sludge, Chad. Keep drinking it. It's very damp sludge. Do you like the damp? You need that dampness. All the damp. It's so damp. <laughs> Chad's now sludge? passed out on the floor with green sludge coming out of his mouth. Right. Not surge? That's what I think of. All right, let's see. Okay. Take another super chat from MB. Poppiest board you've ever been on, like, what the fuck, boing? Well, the one um, that had the most rebound was the Arbor Candle Rain because I impacted going into the transition of a roller and then just sprung. That was aggressive, but I think, like, when you're talking straight, Snap. Capita Super DOA comes to mind. Solomon Huck Knife Pro K2 Hypnotist. Right Algorithm is up there. Even the bench warmer from them. Yeah. I don't know. What do you got, TC? Uh the Nitro Beast. Yeah, the, that's another one. Uh Megadeth. And the uh Beyond Metals. Uh, battalion. That one yeah. was surprising. That one surprised me on the, the super pop. tubes. Yeah. And they, well, yeah, I mean, the, the mega death was something else. It felt like a slap shot on a hockey stick. 
Like that thing, you load that thing up and it just fucking launches. Rome's got some stuff like that too. Like the new Stolly Cruiser for next year has got some crazy spring to it. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm interested to see what the Renegade has because I still have that in the room. Still Renegade doesn't have yet. weird additives. It's just like a, the Renegade's going to ride just like a an old standard camber, camber twin. Okay. That's what it's going to ride. Like uh, oh, okay. Agent Pro will probably be a little more different than that. So, for okay. You. Cool. Shit. He just got two letters. <laughs> MB is already on three letters. <laughs> yeah, he's winning now, man. That's fucking that's chill, man. That's what that's what's going on here. Uh let's see. Okay, where are we going? Let's see. Okay, we'll take your guitar one. What's the best carving board that destroys chop and chunder? What do you got, TC? Hmm. Like soul, like like strictly carving board or something you would carve with that would destroy chop and chunder. Like... Okay. Um, I would probably go like a Red Mountain Pig, the Super, or no, the Megadeth, and then the uh, Free Carbon 9000. Amplit Pentaquark. 9000 is definitely up there. Uh, Karua Cafe Racer Plus. You could even do a bullet train if you wanted to, although that Cafe Racer Plus is a better carver than the bullet train. Uh, on that in that regard uh yeah i think i think that's those are like the three that i got not fair all right my knees are cheese what's your favorite type of cheese knee cheese mozzarella really going that basic huh oh, i yeah. like a nice dark i like a I like a nice aged cheddar or uh from the fine state of wisconsin uh otherwise like I don't know, something creamy and buttery. I don't know really the names of those fancy cheeses. I just... Mozzarella, though. You can't go wrong. It goes great on pizza. In the string variety, when you got to pull it apart, that's pretty good, too. I don't know. I'm also lactose intolerant, so... Yeah. Cheese is not your friend. Yeah, I'll eat no. a fucking full brick of it and be fine. I'll just be like, ah! just want shit for it. I what I'm too. doing the next day. I got to make sure I don't have anything to do. Click the links. Click the links. All right. We got Zoo Rum. Uh, planning to buy a directional, directional twin carving glades board as a progressing intermediate. So far, thinking of the battalion beyond metals. Yes. Pick your line based on your review. More suggestions, please. Uh, Ride Shadow Band would be another good one. Rome Warden. Uh, I mean, you're an intermediate, progressing intermediate in there. Uh, Maybe a Jones Mountain Twin? I don't know. What do you got for three choices for this man? Uh, I was thinking possibly like a Rome Ravine, uh, a Capita Mercury, or even I'd say like a K2 Passport would be fine. Yeah. Yeah, K2 Passport actually would be really good for riding trees. Like mm -hmm. really good. And it's decent for carving. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> We're catching up. We're only 19 minutes in the weeds. We're getting there. Remember to ollie some slow, oh, excuse me, ollie some slow signs. All right. We got NCK. Much overlap between a crew, a tranny finder, and a yes hybrid. Good selection for a two-board quiver. There's, there is going to be overlap with them. Personally, I wouldn't do it. That's just my takeaway on that. I'd do one or the other. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you only have two or one at the moment, I would probably look at something either like volume shifted or something like twin or yeah. directional twin. That's what I would do. And then we've got Senior Kobe looking for a suggestion on a board for Heavy Pacific Northwest Pow, Mount Bachelor, Mount Hood, Standard on Ink, 
gets tough to ride in the trees when the snow is dick deep. Yeah, you want something more directional. You would probably have been better off yeah. with a pick your line on ink if you did yes. But honestly, I'm thinking because I know how heavy that snow is, a ride mountain pig, something that's just yep. really going to push through that and shunder bus. Maybe an Amplin Morning Glory. Um, Lip the Lip Tech Mayhem uh, Retro Ripper, the Swallowtail. Something that's just going to be a little more damp and a little thicker would be solid. You could do an Academy Masters, too. That might actually, with the nose can't, or rocker, get you up on top. Hey, Chad, are you ever going to send us Academy boards? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would also say, like, a Jones Hovercraft. Oh, God, Hovercraft mean, would be amazing up there. Yeah, that Hovercraft 2.0 is fucking phenomenal. That's like uh, what I thought instantly. I was like, oh, yeah. that sounds like a you Hovercraft. You can even do like a deep, deep fake from Ride if you think the Mountain Pig's going to be too stiff. But I think the Mountain Pig's what you want to go with on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. All right. Got a super chat from Charles. With Furberg snowboards going away, is there anything similar? Who cares? They rode like shit when I rode them. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, just be happy you didn't have to ride them. Super crazy big, like 18 meter side cut radiuses. Fucking retarded. Charles, uh, one, yeah. you don't need that board. You just need to go ride more of what you're trying to ride and ride with what you have, and you'll be better too. Those boards were not that good. <laughs> Fucking just say it. I'll just straight say it. They weren't that good. Like I got them, and I was like, these look like they were built by LibTech, but they're from Europe. Probably some slow signs. Okay. We got Michael Stacy. I got a 161 wide Battalion Goliath looking for binding recommendations. I have a 161 wide Skunk Ape 2 with Rome DODs, but wasn't happy with them. Thanks. Well, if you're not happy with the DODs, then you probably want something different. So maybe you should go with like a Jones Mercury or like even a Now Drive. Uh, I was thinking like a Union Force. Yeah, that'd be a good one too. Put that up yeah. there. Or, or even an Atlas. We'll throw like... a bent metal transfer. Yeah. Okay. I'll take this one from Chris Yee. What board surprised you and TC the most that you've tested for next season? Not necessarily the best or anything, just surprised you from what your expectations originally were. Take it away, sir. Uh, mine was a Beyond Metals by Battalion. Like I didn't have a lot of hopes for that board i was like it's a cool shape whatever and then i had so much fun on that thing so that was like the big surprise for me where i was like ooh, like i wish i could have ridden this like for a few days just because of how fun it was um otherwise i'm trying to think of like what if there was anything that surprised me that i was like i'm gonna like this and i hated it uh no there was really nothing like that this year there are a few things that i was a little surprised on but like nothing too crazy like i didn't expect the smoke screen to be as stiff as it was i thought Dude, right I that like, board is like stiffer than it should be it is and i was like huh that's weird like doesn't need to be like that but yeah i don't know what do you have so the ride kink blew me away with that slim wall i was like it it actually rides stiffer than the zero like it feels that I know it's not, but it, it feels yeah. that way. So that thing blew me away. And I was like, and I was ripping Euro carves in the park with it. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit, this is a 55 twin. I should not be doing this with it. That board just was so good. But the real standout to me is the uh LibTech Rad Ripper, full camber, regular yeah. side cut, no magnet traction, no C2, no C3, straight camber on it. I did not want to get off that thing. That board was absolutely fucking phenomenal. Conversely, the worst board that I've ridden for next year is the LibTech Legitimizer. So it replaces the, um, uh, oh fuck was it? The, it was Burtner's Pro model there. Um, box Scratcher. Box Scratcher and Box Knife. It's, it's supposed to be a merging of those two. And mm -hmm. it, evidently has the same shape as the box knife but it's cam rocker and the rocker is in the wrong spot so the camber doesn't engage the way it should that board was a hunk of shit just a pile of fucking suck like 
I and I I stayed riding that thing longer than I should to be like, maybe it's me, maybe it's just me. And I was like, why does this suck? Why does this suck? Why does this like you have the off ramp, you have the rad ripper, get rid of the legitimizer, you don't need it. Also, why the fuck does Mervin have 14 camera profiles for next year? Like, Gotta I mean, keep up with uh with Never Summer. <laughs> No, Never Summer just has the same profile, just with another camber zone added to it. <laughs> we added more camber to your rocker camber, and then we put camber on top of the camber on top of the camber, and then we put camber in the rocker for the camber. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, just make a fucking cambered snowboard again. Like, you guys are going to go out of business. <laughs> You're hurting yourself. Uh, yeah, so those were like, those were the ones that really, really stood out to me. And I was like, damn, okay. This is like really, really different. Um, the new uh, Solomon Assassin and Assassin Pro, like those boards have just kind of existed. And there's been years where they're better and sometimes worse with like minor tweaks. They just fucking overhauled them, like what they needed to do. And I was like, God damn, these are finally where they should have been for the last 10 years. So I was really, really happy with those. Hmm. Ugh. All right. And we've got Eric Chen. I'm depressed. Need to buy something. <laughs> Have the K2 Passport, Ride Peace Seeker, and Nitro Squash. Jones Mercury's and Rome Cleavers for bindings. Thanks. There's a lot of outerwear deals going on. Get yourself a second set of outerwear. I see boots. It's always good to have more pairs of boots. You got backups then, but yeah. get yourself some, some goggles. Buy some goggles. Buy multiple pairs of goggles. That way you never have to change yeah. lenses. You just have your bag with your goggles and you sit in the parking lot and you're like, it's this day. And you take those goggles. That's yeah. what I do at least. That's TC true. will tell you, my backpack's like 90% goggles. If someone stole yeah, I never that, even changed happy. I never even change the lenses on mine. I'm like, yeah, it'll be fine. Like, you and Tommy. Unless it's a crazy flat light day, I'll change to like the yellow lens. Otherwise, like yesterday when two days ago when it was like got super flat, I was like, man, nah, we're just gonna run it. Don't care. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, all right, let's get this man spin. Where are we going? What a letter. Love that. All right. We're at it. Now we're up to five people in here. And, uh, you know, this isn't like a one day thing. We're going to be doing this all summer long. So I think we'll probably do a cut. We'll figure out a cutoff date after we get back from our break at the end of May. But we're going to just probably give away two or three snowboards this summer for yeah. doing this for the game of snowboard. So, all right. And we got S. Scott 1986 spin for snowboard. For snowboard ord. Snowboard dirt 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 dirt. Snowboard or dirt. Click the links. Click the links. All right. All right. Nate, yo, guys, you get your hands on a battalion turbo. I wrote it yesterday. It was kind of a fucking letdown. Like on paper, I was like, I'm not going to like this. It's going to be stiff, but it should be really responsive. And then I got on it and I was like, it's stiff and it's not as responsive as it should be. Like it should have had more pop, in my opinion. Mm. It's like they put so much carbon, it decreased the pop because you couldn't flex it to get it to engage. And oh, I was like, wow. Eh, eh. It's a snowboard. I, yeah. They make better stuff. Like, yeah. there are way better boards from Battalion than that thing. Lose a turn. All right. All right. And we got Beastimus. We've all got a problem. Hashtag spin for slim. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You all have problems. Oh, oh, you almost got a bankruptcy, sir. But spray some scares. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Super Jeff from Jack Offbeat. Beat. When Supermatic Helldiver Hellpod Edition hashtag spin? That would actually be really funny. 
That would be the most hilarious collaboration ever. Ooh, ouch. TC rigged this. All right. We got Daz555. Any thoughts on the causes of foot pain? Just spent two weeks in Val Thorns, France, and after five days started to get crippling foot pain, went on toe side. Both feet. Never happened before. Three. Boots could be too big. You're putting too much pressure. You're elevating your foot, and then it's aggravating the arch and everything in there. Your boot could be too tight on the side. It's compressing it in there. Uh, you could have damaged your foot before you went on this trip. I don't really know. Could be old age. It could be that your footbeds are shit and you need new ones. It could be that you got new footbeds and your foot's not accustomed to them. There is a laundry list there. You got anything to add to that, sir? You could have been riding cat tracks the whole time, and that just causes your feet to just hurt for no reason. Uh, bindings could be on too tight. Your boot could be too wide for your binding. I mean, yeah, like you said, we need more than that to help with foot pain where did the foot pain start where there's a, there's a lot of questions that we have to ask before we can come up with a good answer for you is the real thing yeah. but yeah my first question would be where did your foot pain start and that could help deduce a lot of answer or get rid of a lot of pretty much answers or other questions so that's what i would say where did it start yeah they, that's too broad of a thing. Like there, there's definitely some issues there. So yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. But we'll give you a spin. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Join Angry Snowboarder VIP. And Rich Foster wants us to know he'll be patient, damn it, while he waits for his stickers. Yeah, you will. There you go, Rich. <laughs> Think of it this way. If you forget about them and then they just show up, then it's then it's like, you know. Yeah, that's like a bonus, win. man. Yeah. From staying on a stiffer party board for large jumps and occasional churching. No, that's not a party board. That's 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 a fucking high end twin. Yeah, <laughs> like there's a difference. Next, <laughs> all right, Charles. Will the K2 Almanac 153 Nerd Superposition 57 and K2 Alchemist 160 cover everything for inbounds? Also, probably will grab a crew of Pintonic 72, selling my artifact for the Almanac. I mean, there there you go, dude. Yeah, you're good. You're covered. You're you're good. You're very. <laughs> You're validated. Yeah. Maybe okay. get a twin, but whatever. <laughs> All right. We'll take this one from Patrick. Thoughts on K2 reviving Moro? Apparently, there's a new reissued Todd Richards Pro model coming out. I think this is a Todd Richards only thing that they're going to do. This will be like a weird limited release. I'm curious if they're going to use K2 boards or ride boards for this. Like, K2. what board are they going to base it off of? My guess is that it's probably going to be a shadow ban or an algorithm or really? it would be like a hypnotist from K2. I'm trying to think what kind of boards he likes to ride. Cause didn't he ride the, did he ride a standard for a little bit there? Yeah. I know he's on now on binding. Standard but... on Inc. He was on a yes grades. He's on an auto right now. He was on an auto. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen some of his clips recently, and I like it. <laughs> okay. All right. So to follow up with Daz555's question, it is literally like my whole foot is in a vice even when I back everything off. You probably got neuropathy. You need to go see a doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bet you've got neuropathy or something going on in there, and it's a circulation issue. Go see a fucking doctor. If it's doing that, you have damaged something, or it's genetics, or it's just like, age or something go see a podiatrist you need to trust me my dad was dealing with this to the point like he was just having slip-ons that was the only thing he could wear for a while and then they were like they thought it was neuropathy and it turned out i think that was a result of his cancer because he had a sarcoma in his leg or something so hmm. can't go see a doctor then yeah that's that's what you need to do all right We've got this super chat from Insulin801. If I don't get a letter, you can at least get a Gordita. 
Five, I think you can get two for five. Not up here. I bet. I think you guys have like, five bucks. They used to be on the dollar menu. What the fuck? I want to say they're four fifty or something crazy. What the? F I don't know. I haven't eaten fast food since I was fifteen. I have no fucking clue. That's fair. It's about time to get some Taco Bell. Maybe I think. It's about that time. Got a few months. Well, how's it make you feel? Oh, you just bounced out of winning a letter. Yeah. <laughs> you cursed yourself, dude. You uh, cursed yourself. Uh, all right. We're almost caught up. You know that? It's crazy. All right. We got Melvin Del Rosario. Can I get a validation for riding 30 days this year? That's fucking respect because the average right now is, I believe, five to seven days a year is what people are riding. So, yes. But yeah, good. crushed it. 30 days is a good year. Like, I remember before I moved out here, I got 30 days, and I was so stoked. It felt like I was riding all the time. Dude, my first <laughs> Until year you I was actually... snowboarding, I got, I think it was 29 days my first season. And I and I didn't even own my equipment until the end of the season. Like, I was on rentals. And then I got I bought stuff, and I was stoked. And then the next season, I got, like, 100. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. So, no, dude, mad respect. So, yeah. All right, BZMs, when will it, it be time for the Thraxis race to start? Fuck, all you guys buying Thraxises made my life a goddamn living hell because I'm a size 10. I cannot, I, I know where there's one pair in the state of Colorado and no one's bought them yet, but they're selling them at full pop and I'm waiting for them to drop. <laughs> like, fuck. Should, uh, Sooner rather do, than later? Should we have a boot or a Thraxis bow or replacement thing where you have to replace all three? A Thraxis race? A Thraxis race. That would be sick. I'm still debating that we should buy a uh, speed gun, like a radar gun, for yep. Thursday, Thursday and see who can get the fastest lap down the front side of Ski Cooper. Because that resort not is expensive. not made for speed. <laughs> Let's be real. No. They're not expensive, though. I'm pretty sure you could find oh, them. No, I, found them be... I found them on Amazon for like 80 bucks. But if I want to get okay. a good one, it's like 200 and something. Don't they still have those wheels ones that they... Kind of worked. There was one that you could buy at Target that was Hot Wheels branded, but it was a speed gun and it actually worked. And I think it was only like 20, 40 bucks, something like that. I never owned one, but. That would be really funny if I got that and a megaphone. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down. You are going too fast. You're doing 37.6 miles per hour. Make sure you don't buy the one that Bernie bought because I think we got to play with that one for less than 10 minutes and then it broke on us. And it took like six D batteries. So Jesus that Christ. thing weighed like 40 pounds. And when he pointed it at someone, it gave him cancer too, didn't it? Oh, probably. That thing, I mean, it was only he hit the button to make the sound go, and then the sound didn't turn off. So he took the batteries out, and then we put the batteries back in, and then it just didn't turn on ever. Oh my God. That and I remember huge. asking him, be like, did you put the batteries in correctly? And he looked at me and gave me just the, the greatest look ever. Like, you idiot. Like, all right. <laughs> oh man, that's ridiculous. Oh, all right. We got Mike uh, Regner. What are your thoughts on the Winter Stick brand? I mean, they're one of the oldest brands in snowboarding, but I rode. A couple years ago, I rode some of their boards, and I was like, you're charging how much for this? It's not worth it. They're not handmade still, are they? They have their own factory up in Maine, up by okay. Sugarbush or Saddleback? I can't remember. And, like, I think their factory is, like, right next to the resort so they can prototype and do stuff. Mm -hmm. But I rode them, and I was like, they were heavy. They were damp. Like... The top sheet chipped to shit like one day of riding. And I was like, this thing's chipping to shit. I, I wasn't overly impressed. And then I, my old boss, George, who's ridden since 1986, he's always like, I want to ride a winter stick. So I dropped two of them off for him to ride. And, you know, he usually rides like in the mid 160s boards. He came back and he goes, well, I can say I rode them. Can't say I'm fucking impressed. And he's like, there is way better shit out there these days. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it, too. So I think they make some pretty cool shapes, though. But I don't. Yeah, I've never read yeah. one. So. Yeah. 
So, all right. Well, let's take this one from Jimmy McElroy. One of my friends rides a GNU Ladies Choice, which she loves, looking to start a quiver. What free ride pow boards would you all recommend? She should go check out some of the quiver line from Nitro. Mm -hmm. Because there, there's stuff in there that's unisex for sure. That would be a good one. Uh, maybe like a hovercraft from Jones or a mind expander. That would yeah. be like pow board would be pow free ride would be the way I would go next yeah. with that. So like a K2 cold shoulder or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I would even do like a psycho candy or possibly yeah. depending on the boot size, maybe a war pig over a psycho candy, but it depends. We're almost splitting hairs on that one. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, you're on, I mean, you're on the track there that I would go to like, something directional and like pow specific or almost more free ride specific that can be pow as well like a flagship um i think a stratos would be too much just because she is on a rocker dominant board like i think that would just be way too different um otherwise but uh you could even do a uh is it the capita equalizer is that uh kamara's that's Kamara's board. Yep, that's just Kamara's okay. board. Yep, cool. you could. Yeah, might be a little aggressive, but you yeah. can definitely try that. Um, I'm trying to think what Capita has that's not as aggressive. That's still directional for. Her. Uh, it's not Birds of a Feather. What is it? It's, or maybe it is the Birds of a Feather. Birds of a Feather is just a DOA. No, that's right. No, it's not. It's there's some there's something in between Equalizer and Birds of a Feather, and I can't think of it right now yeah but yeah yep yeah so there's there's some options for it all there's right for you. we got a super chat from my knees or cheese lactose intolerant dear god i'm so sorry dude if i buy you a year's supply of lactose pills can we introduce you into the amazing world of the best food on the planet he's from the midwest he's eating plenty of cheese oh yeah yeah i mean i just have to like either smoke weed or figure out what i'm doing the next day and kind of plan accordingly for the morning but uh yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not crazy. Like, I still eat cheese and shit like that. Like, it's just no milk or ice cream. So, and those lactose pills don't work for me. I tried that once. Uh, the first time I ever went to Colorado, actually, we were in Fort Collins. And then I ended up eating a whole pizza to myself and then throwing up on a Porsche outside a coffee shop. They didn't work. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, you just got two. You're on the you're on the board now, too. The cheese, man. You got an S and an O or an S and an N. So you're getting there. You're getting there. All right. TC, take it away for Jackie Boy. Basic on ink flex compared to a DOA. I mean, it's it's totally different. Like yeah. the basic it's gun ink is stiffer. Yeah, by quite a bit. It also has a very fluid flex through the tip and the tail, like through the nose and the tail, where the DOA is going to be softer on the nose and the tail than it is through the mid. Um, it's going to have a better base on it. It's definitely just an all around more aggressive board where you go to the big jump line on it, have no problem, but then you could still go and ride it like all mountain that sort of thing you can ride it on a pow day if you want by setting back the stance um but it's just going to be like that more aggressive versatility where i would say it's similar to the super doa but it's not even similar to that it's more of a outsiders would you say no i'd say more indoor survival or resort twin you think i think it's way stiffer than those uh. like yeah, I don't think it's it, just got like, old school camber to it. That's the difference. It's it's not the necessarily the flex. It's just that the camber is longer in it. That's all it is. Like if anything, it's it's not, outsiders is stiffer than it um, for sure. But I don't know personally. I think the DOA is just because I think it's still stiffer than a super DOA because the nose and tail on the super DOA are, are still softer. Like, well, yeah, because the, the profiling on the Super DOA is so thin. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I would agree with that. It, plus, the super DOA is more reactive, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, okay. Then we got MIGS, 56 or 58 Resort Twin, if I'm able to. I answered this. Scroll back. <laughs> All right. Super chat from Anthony Hawking. Which color goggle lens should I have been using to stare at the eclipse? Also, why do my eyes hurt? Hashtag cool shirt. Hashtag chicken gungus. I'm glad you like TC's shirt. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a really cool uh, shirt. I mean, you use the the darkest lens that Dragon made. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the eclipse was behind a shitload of clouds when I looked it's at true. it. true. I like yeah. looked up and I was like, "Oh, it started," and then and then it got really, really bright for a second. I was like, "Don't look, don't look." Yeah. Still not as funny as the lifties at the bottom, like holding goggles up and staring. I was like, "Well, your eyes are fucked." <laughs> like yeah. there were definitely people staring at it with their blind eyes at copper, and I was like, "Oh God, why, why? Not good, not good." Well, I rigged this. All right. Then we got Melvin Del Rosario with the hashtag super chat. bankrupt no. all right we got mb another psa double deck snowboard suck balls have you seen the double deck so it's like a snowboard with another deck on top of it that you mount your bindings to terrier was riding it after burton dropped him and talking about it and i was like this is the stupidest fucking thing it looks like a swing bow i was like i think somebody's done this before <laughs> and i was like this is just fucking fucking dumb but yes it's good to know he tried it and said it was bad we don't have a lip kit on my snowboard. <laughs> oh, oh, no, click the links. All right. Okay. And we got a super chat from Charles. Was thinking of was thinking, how good of a snowboarder would you rate the average AMG egg? I don't fucking know. My friend AJ's one. He used to be like semi-pro for K2. I, I I don't fucking know. I don't ride with these people. I don't know what that is. I think that's the backcountry. I don't know, dude. Go ask someone that fucking cares. I don't pay attention to this shit. I don't, I don't know who that is. So. I just don't care. They're a guide. Probably good if they're a guy. Your whole thing to is be. to keep you alive at this point. I don't think it's about riding. It's about keeping you alive. I think they're good. I don't know. It, yeah, they have to be if they're trying to keep you alive. Right? All right. And J Raz, nothing to add. Got home early. Hashtag cruise the blues. Hashtag passport forever. Hashtag spray skiers. Damn right. Spray them skiers. Oh, oh. Oh, ouch. You got cucked. Next person gets a letter. And that's Zorp. Zorp got an S. He's in the game of snow, whether he wants to or not. There's going to be a lot of people that get into this that are like, what? I'm in this yeah. now? <laughs> All right. So Zorp asks, is there any reason to replace my ancient 2009 Drake Super Sport bindings? In my oh, my God. Those are the fucking. Uh, those bindings were out of date in 2009. Those things were like throwbacks from the last century. Like, Jesus Christ. Drake sent me stuff to ride last year. One of the boards broke in the parking lot. I hand flexed it and the top sheet just blew off. The bindings literally have not changed since like 1999. <sighs> They're fucking awful. Yeah, get a pair of unions. Yeah. Get a new pair of boards. Actually, probably what you should do, I'm guessing, because you haven't gotten a new board either. You should probably buy a new board as well. Click the link. Yeah. A lot of deals going on. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got Richard Trick 7 going from a K2 antidote to a ride berserker, hoping for a more nimble ride. What do you guys think? You just rode the berserker, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's going to be more nimble. Um, it it's is narrower. Gonna be, it's narrower. It's going to be softer. Um, 
where I think the antidote actually is a stiffer board in general. Way it's more got more carbon, carbon and it's wider. So it's got a wider yeah. carbon array in it. Yeah. Got way more carbon, like twice as much. Um, but yeah, it's a nimble board. It's fun. It floats pretty well in powder too. So, I mean, if that's going to be your all mountain board, hell yeah, that's going to be super fun. Like your free ridey board. It's a good board. I really enjoyed it. I got it behind me. Yeah. All right. And our boy, Andrew Holton. I was talking to my buddy that created both of us, Ronnie, who wants to see the best tree jib comp in the game. Make it fun. That get Bull of the Woods was always fun to show up and film because like people come out of the fucking woodwork for that. And the shit that goes down on the logs is amazing. Like, Oh my god! I would love to see Bull of the Woods come back. Where that is con- where was that? Uh, depends what year. So the first year it was on Breckenridge up on Peak Eight. Second year was down at Carter Park in Breck yeah. downtown by the dog park. Third year was at Jay Nelson's house. Um, that one I couldn't go to because I blew my knee, so I couldn't go up. But I didn't want to hobble around while trying to film. I knew I was going to be uncomfortable because I like jacked my knee like three days before. But the first one and the second one uh, spent the whole day just filming that. That shit is so below the woods is just such a good contest. Like, oh, my God, I would love to see that come back, especially now that Joe Suda from Nightmare is fucking gone because he's a fucking kook and tried to take that shit over. Fuck that guy. I would I would love to talk to Ronnie about that. Maybe I will next time I see him at Copper. And, uh, but I would love to see Bull of the Woods come back like that. You want to talk about a fast and loose rail contest on logs? <sighs> Stoked that they brought back log masters at Beaver Creek this year. Saw a bunch of the clips from that. And then they mm-hmm. just did love games up on Loveland Pass. And uh, there was definitely some gnarly shit going down up there. But I would love to see Bull of the Woods come back. Like, hell yeah. That, that game, that is. Uh, yeah, so that's crazy. All right, we got this super chat from my knees or cheese. One more spin for cheese. Gorb loves it. Ooh, this is a blank. All right, so but yeah, uh. Yeah, so anyways, that's uh that's where we're at. I think we're gonna call it a day today. We've been here about two hours. So yeah. and, you know, we answered some questions. Some people are on their way to possibly winning a snowboard or going bankrupt. I don't friggin' know. Next week's a different change. I might redo everything on the wheel. I probably won't because I'm lazy and it'll just sit over there, but I could. Yeah. These things could happen. You never know. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the cultural mystery link of the week down in the description. Uh, Saturdays, also check out the weekly sale posts that I've been putting up on the community tab here. Uh, if you're a member of Angry Snowboarder VIP, check out the reviews. We got one drop in a day all summer long, so all spring and summer actually. So uh, got that going on. All right, all right, cool. We'll take this final super chat too from Rough for TC because I already know his ass lost his vape again. Funny thing about that, actually, it popped off on the chairlift today and I had to go and get it underneath the lift. So that's that's really funny timing, actually. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, there's no more questions, so we'll call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. We'll be back next Thursday with another live stream for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support and everything. So, all right. Thanks, guys.